It's really uh, unlike anything we've experienced so far uh, throughout the pandemic. The COVID vaccine has been available to eligible Americans for one year now. Still, we're seeing surging case numbers and rising hospitalizations. As we head into colder temperatures and holiday celebrations, experts we spoke with fear the worst surge may be yet to come. Justin Kolar joins us downtown Indianapolis, where several hospitals have started accepting COVID patients from other hospitals in the state that are at capacity. Justin. Hey, good morning, Linda. Yeah, here at Ascension St. Vincent Hospital, the inpatient rate is so high that ambulances that would normally bring patients and drop them off here have had to have been diverted because all their beds here are full. Instead of dropping them off here, they're bringing them down the street to other Ascension St. Vincent hospitals like the one in Carmel. Now, these issues aren't limited to just this hospital system. This strain is shared equally among nearly all Hoosier hospitals, including Franciscan, Eskenazi, and IU Health. At last count this morning, 53% of eligible Hoosiers have been fully vaccinated. Despite these comparatively high numbers, Indiana has suffered right along with the rest of the nation. And together, we've recorded more than 800,000 COVID-related deaths in the U.S. since the pandemic began. And just so for context, that number rivals the total number of American casualties related to World War II if it happened twice. With a renewed and somewhat now elevated cause for concern, we tracked down Governor Holcomb to share his thoughts. I'm always concerned. Every day I'm concerned. Uh, every surge I'm concerned. Uh, you know, I don't want to read into the last four or five days. I don't want to overread into the last four or five days, but we have seen this ebb and flow over the last two years. What we have to make sure is people who want to get vaccinated get vaccinated. And I'm going to try to encourage people to want to do that because we see who ends up in the hospital, we see who ends up in the ICU, and we see even worse than that folks who prematurely pass. Now, we, we mentioned other hospitals struggling through this recent surge, guys. And last week, the Indiana State Department of Health reported more than 2,800 patients were hospitalized with COVID-19, and that's the largest number since last January. Eskenazi Health told us they are too full to accept more patients, and Franciscan Health Indiana says since mid-November, the number of COVID hospitalizations there has increased more than threefold. Now, in that interview with Governor Holcomb, we also asked him what the government is doing to help these struggling Hoosier hospitals, and he explained that the National Guard may get involved. We'll have more on that sound in the next hour. We're reporting live in northern Indianapolis this morning. I'm Justin Kolar, Fox 59 News. All right.